Spotlight News is sponsored by Shea Butter Like Whoa and Tactical Force Training Solution. I'm excited Shh. about that tactical. Me too. Force. Shea yeah, Butter Like Whoa who's also sponsoring our Mother's Day uh, prize gifts today. They provide gentle and natural skincare products that are 100% non-toxic. They source plant-derived ingredients of the highest quality from fair trade, shea to organic cold press oils. How about that, y'all? How about that? Yes. And you know what else? You can receive a discount because you are part of our Spotlight family. So go What to, they got to do? Go to the website right now, www.sheabutterlikewo.com. Place your order for some shea butter, and at the end of the order, put in SPOT20. Spot, spot 20, 20. And you get your uh, Spotlight Family discount. And we love the shea butter. Um, it's really, really amazing. It makes your skin soft. It is popping. It's glistening, and it smells really good. Is it good. glistening? My I favorite. Will say people it always is. ask me what my favorite is. My favorite is sweet and juicy. So you change up every week? No, I say sweet and juicy. That's my favorite okay, scent. Sweet and juicy. That's my favorite. I will, so I'm sticking to my story too. Mango. I mango. would say you mango like is mango. my favorite. I would mm -hmm. say men. I, I would definitely not just for women. It's also a product for men. Yep. Please check it out. It's a great product. The texture is Do good. Do you put it on your feet? And you it's should. summertime, man. Put it on your feet. If y'all gonna be jumping out there having your rusty feet all yes, out and all that, please do not let no women catch you out there slipping. Put some shea butter right on the back of your heels. On your whole uh, foot. Yeah, and definitely or the heel, all that. Get it together. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to it take care of your feet, man. That's right. Uh, tactical Force Training is the solution to you acquiring gang, gang. licensing for the Maryland HQL, owning a, which is owning a firearm in your home. And also, they offer the wear and carry courses. They they have private lessons in firearms cleaning, maintenance, and marksmanship to register for a class, find out more information, or to enroll in the gun club, visit them on Facebook or Instagram, Tactical Force Training Solution, or visit their website at tacticalforcetrainingsolution.square.site, S-I-T-E. Their offices are located at 3004 Elsa Avenue in Baltimore, and the telephone number is 443-250-9000. I personally took the class. It was a great class. The instructor, shout out to you, CEO Dwayne Elmore, was very good, very knowledgeable, and I am. Li I have my uh, papers. I'm licensed. You got them you papers. Say. I got my papers. Papers and pistols. <laughs> yes. And so at the end of the day, yes, I mean, that is a good thing. Um, black people, brown people, whoever is listening, please be aware that it's okay to own a gun but be safe about the gun make sure you understand how to have a gun uh take the class they have a license to carry uh, it's a, uh what is it called it's called wear and it's, carry yeah, class. Wear, wear and carry it's basically a license to uh uh, uh to carry mm -hmm. um your your weapon once you've uh, been licensed then that's a second additional class yeah and we're going to be involved with the classes we're going to bring them over to the dmv and we're going to be struck uh having some classes for tactical for both of them actually yep. so um stay tuned you can inbox us we'll get you the information we're working on it as we speak so that we can have it over on this side of town yes and indeed. get people licensed and um to carry yes indeed so shout out to uh tactical force yeah dwayne and Teresa. Teresa's also licensed That's over right. there she's a trainer as well That's so right, shout out girl. to both hey, of them girl. She's and they're doing girl some home. amazing things and um all around so Stay tuned for that. We'll have those classes available for you soon on the, in the DMV. Yes, we will. <clears throat> so on to Spotlight News. Caitlyn Jenner is in the news. Remember, Caitlyn used to be Bruce. On the Wheaties box? Yes. Bruce, the the, the champion or whatever he I was I could never wrap my mind around Caitlyn. I couldn't what get it together. What was he, like a triathlon, uh, right? Yeah. Something like that. Because when we was young, I don't know if Jamie, I'm 50-something, so Jamie might be a little younger. But when we was young and played sports, some of the things when we ran and jumped over fences and this, we were Bruce Jenner. Like, yes. I'm Bruce Jenner. Da, da, da. And so, well, it's not you know. Bruce anymore. He, well, I know. She's I'm Caitlyn still holding Jenner. on to it a little bit. And so. she, but I am with Caitlyn on this. She said, if you were born a male, then you should not be allowed to compete in female sports. It is an unfair disadvantage, and we got to protect the girls' sports. So I agree. If you were born a male and, you know... I'm not knocking what you do when you trans, you know, transform to female, but you should not be allowed to play in female sports. I agree. So, yeah. No, I mean, to, in all fairness, you still have a different level of strength, testosterone and strength. strength and everything. So you will uh, have a kind of slight uh, disadvantage or advantage yeah. in that case over the regular female who just was born a, a female. Yeah. So, so I, I understand agree. exactly what... Um, is he, she, like what? It's a she Caitlin now, babe. You gotta say she. Yeah, I, I respect Caitlyn yes. for what, what she said. Okay. 
Donald Trump, y'all's old president, launched his own social media platform on Tuesday titled From the Desk of Donald J. Trump. This platform will allow him to communicate with his followers, allow them to post comments, images, and videos too. So y'all know he, he's been banned from Facebook and Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg is, you know, he's be besties with the other side. So uh, Trump has been kicked off of Twitter. Well, permanently. Everything. Permanently, I think. <laughs> and now he's got so, his own thing going. He said, y'all can come over here and talk to me. So, one hey, thing, he I ain't mad at stopped. it. He won't be he stopped. Won't be stopped. He won't right? be stopped. Right? <laughs> I ain't mad. Hey, I'm trying to figure out a different platform. Yeah. 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 They, I don't like how they can silence us whenever, whenever we want to speak some to. truth to yep. the power. They don't like it, so they muzzle us. That's right. So, yeah, we all need to find a platform. Okay. Well, maybe we'll create a spotlight one, baby. Yeah. John Jack Christopher Smith is set to receive $500,000 in restitution after being enslaved for five years by a white manager, Bobby Edwards, while working at South Carolina's J&J Cafeteria. This is in Conway, South Carolina, by the way, where my, I have a lot of family that's down there. So shout out to Conway, South Carolina. Well, wait Carolina. a minute, though. Wait, what John is enslaved. In, listen, John is intellectually disabled, and Bobby took advantage of that. He forced John to work over 100 hours per week without pay verbal and physical abuse kept him isolated and he would threaten to have john arrested if he told anyone what was going on well now john is set to receive five a half a million dollars in restitution that's probably well, what, not wait, even wait, what about the goofball that was doing the, the, the now, i don't what know is, what's going to happen to him i just know that the victim is yeah going never to mind the restitution that's cool but, what, but we need to follow up with this i'm a, we need to find out about make this, sure something uh, happened to the down the, here in the country we need to go down here and find out what's going on with this boy right here <laughs> that's right you a loser what's his boy name what's his name uh, loser let's loser see. bobby edwards bobby edwards you he are was, a loser he was John's for life. white manager for yeah. 5 years yeah you are a cold south carolina j and j cafeteria we need to go yeah, check you should be arrested for that like that's that's yeah. That's uh, abuse. Um, so I, I'm gonna file charges on the goofball okay. down there. And I don't even file I'm charges. I'm with you on that, baby. But this one right here, he's the, a loser. Yeah, he's a yeah. But shout out to you. Don't John. let that go, y'all. In whatever county, be on that. Conway, Conway, South Carolina. Yeah, all 18 of y'all, get on it. This is a good story. An anonymous man jumped off of a 30 foot bridge in Ocean City on Sunday to save the life of a baby girl who was ejected from a car as a result of a five car accident. I love that. I love Good Samaritans because, you know, this is not your child. You just yeah, saw a child story. and you jumped off of the bridge. How many of you guys going to jump? You know, I just call probably somebody. wouldn't. I'm going to just wait for the paramedics or somebody because, first of all, I can't swim. So I'm yeah. not jumping even if you go over the bridge, babe, because I can't swim. Yeah. So ain't no sense of both of us dying. You. I'm yeah, just going right. to tell call you somebody. I love you Don't and you pray die. for you. Yeah, just somebody yeah. stay alive to tell the story. <laughs> At least tell, right. me, tell them what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. So shout out to I don't have the name, but shout out to whoever did that. Good Samaritan still alive. Real Housewife of New York cast member. She's a new cast member too. Ebony K. Williams. Shout out to you, Ebony. Her and Bershan are new cast members. Bershan is coming on the show soon too. You also look out for that's still in two weeks too. Bershan will be back yep, on the yep. show. Um, but Ebony K. Williams. Do we get a vacation? No, we don't. We get a vacation in July. Yes, baby. I'm just checking. Uh, Ebony announced that she broke up with her fiance because he chose to quarantine with his kids in New Jersey and left her all alone in New York. Ebony mentioned during the interview that, that two of his three kids are young adults. We got a clip, so we're going to play the clip, and then we're going to talk about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, y'all hold tight. Let's get y'all thoughts. We'll be right back. Spotlight. But he actually did not quarantine with me. He's He has three children, two of which are young adults, and he chose to quarantine in New Jersey with his semi-adult children. And for me, listen, I'm not a parent yet, so I'm not, I get that they're number one. Right. But I need to be number one, Wendy. And I wasn't number one, so I needed to move on. Okay, okay. How long did it take you to move on from the time that you realized that he wasn't gonna come quarantine mm. with you? Six months. I mean, I still was holding out hope. We were doing the couples counseling and everything, and then- On Zoom? Yeah, and um, he's a lovely man. Just wasn't for me, you know? Yeah. He's older. He had been there, done that. Didn't really want a new baby and all that stuff. I want, I want that stuff. Okay, welcome back to Spotlight. What y'all so, think about so, this? Um, yeah, so... What you think, babe? Um, you know, um, when you have to quarantine, and he... he so... I mean, they it were, depends on the engaged. conversation. Like, you have to have a conversation, a whole conversation. I'm going to be going to quarantine with my kids. I'm getting ready to go kids. quarantine with my kids. And my which kids means probably with their mother. Yep. Up, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's tough there because, yeah, because she can't go. She can't no, get that she invite. she can't go. 
So why the kids can't come over there and quarantine? Why would them? the kids leave the mother and quarantine over there with with the with the fiance and the daddy? Why wouldn't the daddy go be over there with the kids and the mama so the whole family can be together? Nah, you gotta stay with because the if the if the kids come over there, then the whole family is not together. They're away from their mother. Yeah, but but at this point, this is not a family. The the kids are with the mother. The father's not with them. That's not the situation. That's true. But when yeah. you have to quarantine, do he risk not see his kids were in New Jersey or yeah? No, you go visit them. Well, you can't. And then you bring that ass home. You can't during the quarantine. You can't visit your kids. People. Some people were very, very strict about it. So some people went to be with whoever. Well, the government they, officials was going to see their damn kids. Well, I, when I was going to Mexico, I'm just saying. Why we can't see our kids again? I was seeing my kids. Not, I had kids. I'm gonna see my kids. Well, we were doing that, yes. But these well, people, there are dumb. people who were very restricted, and she broke up with her fiance because, because he wanted to he go went, quarantine with his children. He went and quarantined with his kids. Well, that was a decision that he made. Now that's tough because they had to talk about that. Now my yeah. fiance can't go. So I'm going to try to figure out how I can barter between the two. I have to kind of, you know, not just totally leave my fiance and just, you know. Ah, that's tough. And that so is he, tough. Yeah. I don't know that I would have broke up with him, though. What because I'm, I'm a little... What y'all think? I'm would very, you, very lenient you you when say? it comes to the kids. So when it comes to your children, it, it's not like he's going to be gone away from you for a whole year. He was probably but gone away But he's over there from, with the, the mother of the children. But that's not the point. She lives there. And he's not with the mother. He's there because he wanted to be in the same household with his no, kids. No, wait, Jamie. Can you... Can, Jamie, can you go and over to your baby mother's house and and leave Raina and quarantine over there for two weeks? No, sir. No. So who can do that in America? Like what? What is? Who is this goofball? This but that? listen, yeah, but he's married. These people weren't married. They. This is her fiance. And if you okay, let's say well, that's we, a strong sign. We shouldn't get so married because if, if you we, can't go over your baby father's house and quarantine with your children. Why I'm just over this? Like you go over there two weeks with your baby father and the children. Let's say two months. Just, but not even two weeks. I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, the children welcome to come. You can go back and forth. You can't do whatever. that during the quarantine. It's COVID. If you have sense, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Well, and so at the end of the day, that's where, yeah. That's, that's what happened. That's, that's what happened. Yeah, so nah, I would, I would definitely not be cool with that. I don't think that's cool. That's, that's grounds for you, separation. You would, so you agree with her breaking up with him? Then? I don't. Yeah, I don't think that you should do that and put your situation in jeopardy because you have to be considerate. You have to still love on your children, and you, of course, they're going to be your children. But you can't leave your whole situation and go with a whole new. That's a new whole family over there. So no. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I'm on the fence. I feel like you know it's temporary. You coming back? You gone for two months. I trust you, because if I don't trust you, that you're not over there in the bed with your baby mother, then w what's the harm? It's, it's just like if you had to go to go to the military, the reserves for three months, you are gonna be back. Yeah, I ain't gonna be my old, my baby mother. That's the thing. So you gotta understand that he's not over there with her. He ain't sleeping with her. He just had to stay in the same house for a few months. Mm -hmm. So That's, you know, right, this is you know fifty fifty. Yeah.